Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing sort of a combination get ready with me, trying out some new products that I have, and talking about what I picked up for Black Friday. So I wanted to get some of those products and be able to give those a test out today. If that sounds like something you're interested in, stick with me, we're going to get into it right now. So I've made a bunch of orders, about half has already shown up, um, the other half is still in shipping, so I'm going to talk about a couple of things that are still in the process of shipping. Um, the first one is Terramoon Cosmetics. I decided to pick up four of, no I'm sorry, five of their Iridescent Chameleon shades. So I picked up Astral, Saturn's Rings, Space Baby, Red Giant, and Zero Gravity. Um, Saturn's Rings and Astral are more of like green, yellow, gold, orangey kind of multi-chrome shades. Space Baby starts out blue and then kind of goes to different shades from there. Red Giant is obviously the one that starts with that really bright red shade, and I think it's the shade that they're most well known for. And then Zero Gravity is more of like a purple. I also ordered from Odin's Eye Cosmetics the Solomon um, Highlighter Palette and Eyeshadow Palettes. They had a 50% off sale, and so that made the purchase of these products a little bit more affordable. So I picked those two things up, but again, they have not shipped to me. I picked up the ColourPop Color Me Obsessed Eyeliner Bundle and the Friends, Friends Forever um, Super Shock Duo. Um, the liner set I was really interested in because it had a bunch of different liner colors in it that I don't already have and it did have Prance in it which is a re-release from a long time ago that was very very popular and I never got to try it so I was really excited about that and then I picked up the Super Shock Duo because I was so close to getting free shipping I could either pay for shipping or pay for another item so that's what I got for that and then I did order the from Luxie Brushes they had a 50% off sale um, two of the Luxie 229 tapered blending brushes, which has quickly become one of my favorite blending brushes for the eyes, and the Luxie Iconic Eye Set in Rose Gold, um, and I have no idea when any of that stuff is showing up. <laughs> but those are some things that I ordered and have not gotten to me yet. Now I did want to show you the other stuff that I picked up that has already gotten to me. So I had placed two orders total from ColourPop. The other ColourPop, um, order that I did was for the Cooler Than Me bundle, because I couldn't decide between just getting that taupe or getting the bundle together. Um, and when it went on sale, I was like, you know what, it's like a $4 difference, so I'll just get the bundle. Um, so it comes with Making Moths, which I'm sure you guys have already seen, but that looks like this. And then that's taupe, which I had been waiting to come back in stock for the longest time. Like, once it released, I talked myself out of it because I couldn't decide if I wanted this one or if I wanted Stone Cold, which is that much bigger um, palette. And I ultimately decided to get this one because I think I get a little bit choice fatigued by, like, super huge 30 pan palettes. Um, so I wanted to go with this one. So I wanted to wait for it to come back in stock. When it came back in stock, I was ready to purchase. So that's what that one looks like. And I did also get the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Acid Primer. I've been wanting to pick this up pretty much since it released, but this thing is out of stock, like, literally all of the time. So I'm hoping that means it's pretty good. I have not had a chance to try it, but I do really like hyaluronic acid infused products, so I am very hopeful for this one. Picked this up during that order. And then I did also pick up one eyeliner in Big Splash, which is like this kind of frosty blue color. Let's see if I can swatch it out here. So it looks kind of like a frosty turquoise. Very pretty color. It doesn't go with these palettes, but it's still really pretty. <laughs> All right. So that was my color pop orders. I did also order from Midas Cosmetics. I have been waiting to get my hands on one of these Neon MUA face palettes. This is the From Dusk to Dawn um, series. There's four different palettes. They range from a palette for very fair to light to medium to deep, deep dark skin tones. Um, and I think the whole concept was really a cool idea. And I love the fact that it is a blush, bronzer, highlight, and contour in one because I feel like many of the face palettes that you see are just blush, bronzer, highlight, or two blushes and a highlight, that kind of thing. Um, so this one I was really, really excited to try. I was having a hard time be deciding between the light and medium. 
but ultimately I think this light one will be perfect for me since I am super super fair. The only thing I wasn't sure about was if the the bronzer and the contour would be deep enough but I think they will be I think in a lot of the promo pictures those are a little bit overexposed um, and the actual shade in the pan looks deeper than what I'm seeing when I see pictures online so very excited to try this one out so I did run into Ulta for this which is the Tarte uh, found sealer multitasking foundation and broad spectrum SPF it has an SPS, SPF of 20 um, and Teresa is dead really liked this one and talked very highly of it. This was on sale for um, $20 instead of $39. I think it was like $19.50. And then I had a $10 off coupon. So that made this $9. And I just thought, you know what, for $9 I would definitely try a high-end foundation. So picked this one up. And then while I was there, of course, I couldn't help myself. I definitely started looking around a little bit. And I found two other things. Um, the Saharan Blush palette volume 2 was in stock which this thing again is rarely in stock on on Juvia's website um, anytime they have a sale I feel like it sells out way faster than anything else that is what it looks like on the front and then when you pop it open you've got some really pretty blushes here so you've got more of like a red tone definitely this like deep purple this I think would do more for like a bronzer or contour and then you've got two like blush topper kind of shades um, this bubblegum pink I'm not sure that this is necessarily my go-to shade but Bupin talked so highly of this I was like eventually I'm gonna need to try it um, $20 is a bit steep but when it was on sale for 10 I was like you know what let's go for it and then the last thing that I picked up was just a small Z palette with all of the single shadows that I had coming I really wanted something um, small to be able to organize those in so I did pick this up Again, those singles are not here yet. I wish, wish, wish they were, but it's okay. One more thing that I picked up. This is the Nomad Cartagena Magica palette. Um, I have a really good friend of mine who is, um, like, heritage-wise, half her family is from Colombia. So when I saw this palette get released, I was like, oh, it's only a matter of time, girl. I'm definitely picking this one up. So you can see inside you have some really pretty golds and some like pinky red tones and then a couple things that are more like pinky purple. But I thought this was really, really pretty. So of course I had to pick it up. All right. And I think with that said, that is my Black Friday haul, which is whew, so many things. Okay. So now I've got you guys zoomed like way in. I did go ahead and apply a little bit of the Drug Cosmetics Clean Canvas Base. This is in the shade Fair. A little, little bit goes such a long way. You have no idea. It's very, very thick product. Okay, and so this is the final look after mascara. I decided not to do any falsies today just because I feel like, you know, the, the look is kind of subtle and if I put false lashes over top of it, you're going to lose everything. Um, so I ended up not doing that, but I did use the Nabla uh, Mascara, Major Pleasure Mascara, and I used the lipstick um, Pepper from Bite Beauty. So let's do a quick recap of everything that I picked up. I would say the easiest thing to do is review the eyeshadow palettes first. So there was Making Mauves and That's Taupe from ColourPop. These two I think are, you know, your standard ColourPop quality. I do really appreciate the fact that there's no pressed glitters in these. Um, and for the bundle together, I think was about $20. So I did get a little bit of a discount on these. There's no mirrors in them, but I do think they're heading towards this like recyclable cardboard packaging, which I do appreciate. Um, so I'm really happy with these. I'm definitely going to keep playing with those more. The Cartagena Magica palette I did not use um, on screen today, but I do really think that this is a pretty palette. I am so sorry it's blowing out my white balance. Um, I think it's a really pretty palette. I'm definitely looking forward to making some colorful looks with this. Why is my hair so crazy? Okay. The Saharan 
Volume 2 blush palette I do think is very nice as well. It's typical Juvia's quality. If you like the quality of their eyeshadows, you're going to like these blush palettes because they're very similar. Um, I have not checked the actual ingredients list to see if they're the exact same, but I would not be surprised um, because I do think they're a similar quality. Again, a little bit pigmented, so you want to be careful, but I do think that they look really nice. Even the... Um, more intimidating colors in this palette I think are going to look nice on fair skin tones. Neon MUA and Midas Cosmetics killed it with this. I really like this. The highlighter being that sort of like it's almost like a super shock consistency. It's very creamy and then it goes straight to a powder. It's got a nice like luminosity to it. I think it looks really really pretty. The blush I did not try like I said. The bronzer and contour I do really like. Definitely some kick up. I don't really care about that but it's something to know um, especially because you're going to be blending these out kind of all over the face. I don't think a little bit of kick up in the pan is going to be the end of the world but I do really like this. The price of this I think without a discount code is around 30 $32 maybe? Around, somewhere around $30. Um, and I think that's a little steep for what you're getting. But again, it's indie brand, so could that be playing into it? Yes. Um, I think it's an awesome palette, though. If you decide to get it, definitely use one of the discount codes like Neon MUA or um, Garbage from Teresa is Dead um, so that you can get a little bit of a discount because paying full price, don't pay full price. Never pay full price. <laughs> Easiest thing to review, a Z palette. What could go wrong? If the magnet works, it works. Um, I haven't put any shadows in this one yet, but this pretty straightforward. I don't think you guys need tons of reviews on that. The the Tarte Found Sealer I do think is a really nice like finish. It's definitely got sort of that like soft but dewy finish to it. It's not like super sticky, like my hair is not stuck in it. My hair brushes back and forth across it easily. I think it has a nice um, coverage level in terms of like light to medium coverage. You could probably build it up if you wanted to. I'm sure you'd get a slightly different finish if you used a sponge versus the um, paddle brush that I used, but I do think it's a really nice product. I also like that the lid locks, so you have to like, I don't know if you guys can hear that little click. But you have to really like click it up and click it down so it if at some point in the next thousand years we get to go traveling again that would be a good one to consider taking um, traveling the primer I do think is really nice it's a little bit thinner consistency than what I thought it was going to be um, but I think it's a nice it's got like a nice kind of fresh scent to it um, and I think that the primer goes on nicely it's sitting nicely with this foundation so overall I'm happy about that and the liner the liner is pretty I can see that it's starting to like fade a little bit from the absolute inner most part of my lower lash line um, and I think that happens with pretty much every liner I use so I don't really hold that against this product in particular um, but I do think it's a pretty color and definitely going to enjoy wearing this look. So that is my Black Friday haul slash get ready with me. I really hope you enjoyed the video. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and I'm going to catch you in my next one. Bye!